Hello everyone. Today I want to give you an account of how I do door to door with Oriflame. And it may help you if you're doing door to door sales yourself or if you have thought about it. Uh, I will mention Oriflame several times because that is the catalog that I am delivering. Uh, this month's catalog looks like that. And I haven't done door to door for a while because of COVID and everything or the restrictions. Uh, I was just delivering catalogs to my regulars. But this time I decided that uh, I will start with door to door again. Uh, so as an example, I'll tell you about one estate that I did. Uh, in this estate, there's uh, altogether 79 houses. And what I always do when I do door to door, I have a list. Uh, so in this case, numbers from one to 79. And every time I knock on the door, I write down if I left the gutter lock there or not. Uh, I prefer knocking on the door rather than just leaving the catalog at the door because firstly uh, I get to tell people uh, what it is about when I come back to collect it and that way I also make sure that they actually want the catalog and want to browse through it uh, because next time when I'm in the same estate it saves me time because then I already have a list of houses that want the catalog and the list of houses that don't and this is I think good for both sides not just myself to save time from knocking on the doors that don't want the catalog, but also for people that live in these houses. Because if you don't want the catalog, you don't want one of them being dropped at your door. And also I would be probably losing the catalog because they would travel to the nearest bin. And so it's always very good to know who wants the catalog and who doesn't. So I spent two hours um, doing this. Oh, actually, I went to uh, two estates. So actually on this estate, I spent about an hour and 15 minutes. Some people I already knew there. Uh, so, uh, of course, it took a little bit of extra time then because I was uh, chatting a little bit with people that I already knew. Uh, but in total, out of uh, 79 houses, I knocked on 45 doors. And out of this for these 45 doors, 18 wanted the catalog and 27 didn't. So I have 34 doors more in this estate, 34 doors that I don't know if they want a catalog or not because uh, there wasn't anybody at home on the day that I was there. But this is already pretty good. I know if I need to drop the catalog to uh, one of the 45 doors or not. Uh, and out of these, as I said, 18 wanted the catalog. So today I went to pick them up. It took me about 45 minutes in this estate to pick up the catalogs and uh, in the process I also knocked on uh, seven doors that I hadn't knocked on uh, last time. So actually I lessened uh, the amount of doors that I still have to uh, knock on. I am saying knock on a lot. <laughs> but yeah, that was, was what I was doing. So out of these catalogs that I dropped the other day, uh, I got uh, three orders and two people wanted more time to have a look at the catalog. So I left catalog with them and I said that I'll call back on Tuesday when I'm passing anyway. These three orders that I got uh, were in total £75, which means that this is actually 75% of what a new person needs, for example, to get their first step of the welcome program. And that was just a few hours in an estate. And out of this, I earn a little bit more uh, than 20 euro myself, which is not bad for not being in this estate for so long and not really knowing who lives there anymore. It has been two years until I was there last time. Even though to few people I have dropped the catalog there in, mean, in the meantime as well because they have become my regular customers. So out of these people whose door I actually knocked on uh, and who wanted the catalog, uh, 13 of them uh, were people that I had met before who or who had ordered before a long time in the past. And 12 were totally new people. And one catalog I just left in the post box of a house where I knew that my regular lived before but I wasn't sure if uh, she was still there. So when I picked up the orders, uh, three of them, all three, were from people that had ordered from me before. And all, every time when I'm picking up the catalogs, and especially from the people that don't know me uh, yet and whom I dropped catalog for the first time, I always ask them if they would like me to drop the next catalog when I come around when new catalog is out again. And 
out of these uh, people, all but one said yes, that they would like to see the catalog again. So this is how I do door to door. And I find that keeping lists of, uh, for example, who, which houses want the catalog, it really, really helps because every time you're there, um, you're going to spend less time on going around because you know exactly what houses you need to go to. You know exactly uh, who wants some testers, who wants to um, know about some product offers. Chatting to these people in time, you will know if they maybe want to join up themselves. Uh, all these things and uh, the more they see you around, the more they get used to you doing that and longevity, longevity is always a good thing when it comes to any business. Now, of course, some people were not at home today when I was knocking on the doors and picking up the catalogs. The other people had left the catalog outside for me to collect, so these ones were really easy ones. But next time when I pass, I will pick up the few catalogs that I left today and a few that needed some extra time to have a look at the catalog and also the one I knock on the doors that I didn't get any answer at today to pick up the catalogs that I left the other day. So overall, I find it really, really positive that I haven't been there for so long. I got three orders and majority of these people that I dropped the catalog to want to see the catalog again. And that is how you build a regular um, so that is how you build yourself regulars in the business. You go back, when you say you go back to pick up the catalog, uh, you leave them uh, your phone number with the order form when you first leave the catalog in case if you miss them and they need to contact you because they actually want to order something and they weren't there when you were coming back for the catalog. And keeping lists of uh, where you're going and where you're dropping the catalogs really help you, helps you save time next time. Because I remember in the same area, uh, like I was doing another uh, half an estate uh, that day, but I just wanted to concentrate on one estate telling you that. Uh, because I remember that in the past, there's four estates next to each other and there is about 480 houses. And... In the past, I dropped about uh, 70 catalogs there, all on the same day, and I picked them up a few days after. And I remember that there was always a good amount of orders per average per, for time that I spent in there. But that all comes also when you have the estate, what I say, what I call it, uh, I call it uh, mapped. So I'm mapping the estate for where I have to go and what I have to do. And uh, yeah. That's pretty much it. That's my hints and tips. Be nice, be cautious, uh, answer the questions that people are asking from you. And sometimes some people uh, just want to have a short chat as well. Uh, stay for that, tell them about the products. And there is no other way than success that way. Good luck.